What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw for TV. The sports world has lost another legend, six time All Star, and former Dodgers legend Fernando Venezuela has passed away at the age of 63. The news was announced late last night. Uh, if you're watching the game between the Lakers and the Timberwolves, uh, I think it was Mike Breen that broke the news of his passing. Uh, Major League Baseball announced that Venezuela, or confirmed, I should say, that Venezuela died on Tuesday night in a L.A. hospital, but no specific cause of death has been specified. Though it was heavily reported on October 1st, that the former Dodgers ace had been hospitalized. Venezuela was given his chance to enter the majors back in 1980. When on the night before opening day, Jerry Rouse was injured and Dodgers manager Tommy Lasorda subbed in Venezuela, who to that point had never played a major league game. Venezuela recounted just last year, quote, Tommy Lasorda came up to me and said, are you ready to pitch tomorrow? I said, I'm ready. That's what I was looking for. The opportunity to show what I can do. Venezuela inspired the Fernando Mania chant from fans as he won the NL Cy Young Award and Rook of the Year in 1981. He went on to play in the major leagues for 17 seasons. And beginning in 2003, served as a Spanish Spanish language commenter for the Dodgers. Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred said in a statement, "Quote: Fernando Venezuela is one of the most impactful players of his generation. With his distinctive pitching style, the Dodgers left-handers' rookie season generated so much excitement in the U.S. and his native Mexico that it had become commonly referred to as Fernando." Mania. His statement continues, he is one of the most influential Dodgers ever and belongs on the Mount Rushmore of franchise heroes. He galvanized the fan base with the Fernando Mania season of 1981 and has remained close to our hearts ever since, not only as a player, but also as a broadcaster. He has left us far too soon. In addition to his pitching, Fernando Venezuela is one of the best hitting pitchers of all time. Hitting, I believe, was 10 career home runs as a designated hitter in Major League Baseball. Venezuela was one of the most dominant pitchers of his era and a wildly popular figure in the 1980s, although he was never elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. However, he is part of Cooperstown, which features several artifacts, including a signed ball from his no-hitter in 1990. His death comes as the Dodgers prepare to open the World Series on Friday night at home against the New York Yankees. I'm pretty sure that his passing will be a little bit of added motivation for the Dodgers to win uh, another World Series crown. As far as his career is concerned, he had a 173 and 153 overall record with a 3.54 ERA, 2,074 career strikeouts, and uh, he started in 424 contests. His best season, of course, was his rookie year. 1981, in which he had a 13-7 and overall record, a 2.48 ERA, 25 games started, which led the league, 11 complete games, which led the league, 8 shutouts, which led the league, 192.1 innings pitch, which led the league. 180 strikeouts, which led the league. And as I said, he won 
Rookie of the Year and Cy Young in that particular season. Matter of fact, for six consecutive years from 1981 to 1986, he was an all-star. Fernando Venezuela dead at the age of 63. May he rest in peace. His birthday would have been November the 1st.